So today, some of you guessed it, we are making what, Evan? Eggnog. We are making eggnog. And have we made eggnog before, Evan? Nope. So Evan is my eggnog lover in the house. Actually, we've got a few of us. Not all of us like eggnog, but a few of us do. So the only eggnog I ever buy is the Kemp's Golden Eggnog. I just love it. And this year, I went to buy it in the store, and the first time I saw it, it was $8 for half a gallon. And I did end up paying, it was between like six and seven dollars for half a gallon, which just seemed outrageous. We decided since we always have everything on hand basically to make eggnog, we're gonna try it ourselves. And we'll see how it turns out. And we saved a little bit of our eggnog left. We've been trying to save it, right? Mm -hmm. So that we can do a taste test. A taste test. Do you think our eggnog is going to be as good or better or worse? than this eggnog. I don't know. You I don't know? Sure. I don't know what to expect either. So I'm gonna go with better. You Where think it's gonna be better? Go with. I don't know, I'm torn. I think, hear me out. I think when we try our homemade eggnog, we're gonna say it's not as flavorful. And then we're gonna add more flavor and then we're gonna end up adding more cinnamon and nutmeg and things. And the recipe we're using today did not call for cloves, but I just have a feeling we might like that in there. So I took them out just in case. But you ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. We're getting ready to start. Before we start our pot on the stove, we are going to be cracking our eggs in. Now, I believe the recipe I'm using is from Just a Pinch, but I will leave the link down below that we're using and we're probably modifying it. I know we're modifying it a little bit. So we are using those eggs that we went and pasteurized a while back and if you didn't see that video I will link it here if you want to know how to um, pasteurize your eggs but I am cooking them a little bit in here so I'm not super concerned about it all right ready to crack some eggs mm -hmm. we're going to use six eggs I have enough for half a batch so just six eggs we're going to use all right go ahead we're gonna crack them in the pot which is not on yet that I have all my eggs. Um, remember, I didn't turn the stove on. I'm gonna whisk them up. All right, so the next thing we are going to add is the sweetener. We are using honey from Dad's Bees. So super exciting, ours did solidify this year, so it's not runny like it has been in the past, but we are going to add just over a half a cup of this in place of the sugar that they call for. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be sweet enough or give it kind of a different flavor, but we feel better about eating honey than sugar, so that's why we're doing it. Do we have the stove on yet? Nope. Only turn it on when we all the we have all the ingredients in. I think we'll turn it on a little bit before that, but let's just wait and see. All right. So, what did you want with this spoon? 
to lick it to see how the honey tastes <laughs> because it doesn't you forgot. look good. Oh, it doesn't look good? The solidified? Mm -hmm. I know. I've been using it for baking, and I love it. Um, but, yeah, it's different. I did make, I think, a peanut butter and honey sandwich for it, with you. With it for you. What do you think? Still tastes good? It tastes like normal honey, but... It tastes yeah. like in between honey and then sugar, because some uh -huh. of it's almost got, like, yeah. the crunch of sugar. I taste that. All right, don't put it in the pot when you're done licking. Let's put it in the dishwasher. So Evan's going to mix this honey in with the eggs. I think you're really going to have to hold it because it's going to be hard to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stove on yet? Nope. Not yet. All right, we're adding two cups of whole milk. And the reason we're making a half batch today is because whole milk is what I need to get from the store. So we only had two cups to work with. All right, stir it in. With that dryer, it just beeped, didn't it? Yep. What's this hands job? Put your hand in your pocket. There you go. Starting to look like eggnog. So Evan is ready to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> I said no. Can't taste it yet. We're gonna add our cinnamon, half a teaspoon. And I'm really not too worried about adding. Woo! Maybe I am worried about adding too much. Mom, slow down. <laughs> We can always add more later, right? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spatula because are we heating it up yet? No. Not yet. I'm going to take a spatula before we heat it up and just clean the sides. Um, he's a pretty uh, aggressive whisker. Whisker? Mm -hmm. Is that the right word? Thank so, did you get any hand go wash your hands? What fine. is that? Raw egg and milk. <laughs> So I'm going to add that half teaspoon of nutmeg too, and I'll give him a little head start on that. It smells good, Evan. Let me smell it. But yeah, it smells like cinnamon. Just cinnamon. I know. I don't know if we're going to use those cloves, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see. I felt it. Okay, I'm going to do the side, so no more stirring wild, okay? Oh, we'll That's to, what I'm used okay. to, Mom. Okay, we'll go a little bit slower. Do little teeny circles in the middle and let's yell that. All right, I lost my helper. He promises he'll be back to taste test though, so that's all right. I am using a candy thermometer. I have a couple different versions of this. This is one from my grandparents. So I think I haven't used it yet. I think what I do is just hook it on there. Mine don't hook onto the pot, and when I saw that they were getting rid of this one, I thought, yes, I can actually use that. So I've got my candy thermometer on here, and we're gonna try to get this temperature to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me just double check. Sounds about right. All right, so I've read this a few times, and it tells me, keep stirring, keep stirring. If you need to break like a couple seconds, and keep stirring until you get to 160 degrees. Now, I've got a couple different burners. Of course, the one I love to use is really big, but I think I'm going to move it on my back burner, which is a little more inconvenient, but this way I won't have this huge flame to deal with. And I'm gonna turn it on low. And we're gonna start stirring. Let's see, I will tell you how long it took if I remember, I always forget to look to get to that 160. Now, I still did not add all of my ingredients. I have whipping cream to add and salt and vanilla. Yeah, I don't think this is reading. I kind of feel if it's even getting warm. No, it's cold. Okay, maybe I just need it on a little bit higher. So I checked with my meat thermometer and my other thermometer definitely isn't working because we were above 100 degrees. So I had one of the kids grab me my other candy thermometer. The only reason I don't love this one is it just kind of sits in here. Doesn't hook. All right, I hit 160. We're gonna turn this off and move it off, at least off of the heat right away. And it took me 17 minutes. It's a lot of stirring. <laughs> And get this out. It smells really good. Kind of like smells when I'm making oatmeal. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. It says a pinch and I'm doing half a batch so maybe half a pinch. I'm going to add vanilla. Now I wasn't supposed to break into this till the beginning of the Oop. Hold on. 
So I made this the beginning of October, so it's only like not even quite three. So the beginning of October, yeah. Not even three months old. I'm gonna add a teaspoon. It smells really good. All right, so the thing I am worried most about adding is the heavy whipping cream. Now I did pour it before we started, so it's not cold, cold. I'm not sure how it's gonna react. So I moved it off of the stove top, even though I had moved it off the hot burner, just to kinda get a little more airflow. It's a little cooler right here. And I'm going to slowly dump in my heavy whipping cream and hopefully all goes well. All right, so the recipe says to let it cool down at least for a little bit before you taste it, and then you can change the seasoning if you need to. I'm actually gonna put ours in the fridge until after supper tonight, and then we can get a true idea. It says four to six hours, so after supper, my eggnog-loving kids and I will try it and see what we think. We're gonna do that taste test. All right, you guys ready to taste test some eggnog? Yeah. yeah. All right, so raise your hand if you like eggnog. Okay, so we got two here who like it, one who doesn't but is willing to try the homemade stuff because he's a good sport. And <laughs> one other kid who's like, no, this isn't happening. And dad isn't sure. He wants to see your guys' facial reactions first. So we're going to start with the two who like regular eggnog and mom. And we're going to try the store stuff so we remember what it tastes like, okay? You don't have to taste it. Okay, this is the one you like, right? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try it too. Make sure I like it. Yeah, okay. the keepers is really good. Okay, hold on. Now, we're gonna try the homemade stuff, which looks really pretty. It looks similar. Maybe not as thick. It's been in the fridge about yep, four really hours. Good. All right, pass that down to Leroy. Don't drink it yet. We'll all do it at the same time. All right, we're gonna drink it just the same. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna count to before we drink? Three. Three, two, one, and drink on zero. Yeah. Okay, ready, Lydia? Sit on your butt. Three, two, Three, two one, one, zero. Mmm. Tastes like cinnamon milk. I think it's good. Do you like it? Yeah, it's more better than that one. Do yeah, you really think it's just, better? It yeah. just tastes like cinnamon and milk. It's not, it's not as creamy as Can this one. Can I have one. some more? Yeah, yeah. yeah me too. Yeah, I, well, want, I want this one. We'll, we'll have more um, for dessert, okay? Oh, okay. Because we didn't do dessert. We didn't. Can we have a whole... <laughs> Yeah. Is it good? So my vote, I don't know. It does not taste like the store eggnog. It's delicious. It is definitely not as creamy. I wonder if you could use like all whipping cream, then I'd probably like it. I do like it. It's good. I think I will make it from now on just because it still has all the flavor and I know it's healthier. It doesn't look like the ingredients list of this one. Just not quite as thick. But the consensus was the two who already liked eggnog still had some inklings to like this one. And the two who don't like eggnog liked this one. Now all I have to do is convince Matt to try it. This one tasted like when I tried it? Oh, you said it tasted like bubble gum. And then it made me it think of bubble gum when I tried yeah. it and it bumped me out. This I, one does not taste like bubblegum. I think gum. this one tastes like bubble gum. Did you guys know that? Yeah, a little bit when yeah. it's yeah. yeah. I really care it. Yeah, I just got it. I like this one. I like this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I like this one. 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 I like a little creamier. It's so good. It yeah, I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty good. I would drink Dad, this over that. Dad, we would yeah, find it. Too. It tastes like cinnamon and um, uh, ice, ice cream. cream. Mm. It tastes like cinnamon and milk mixed together. Cinnamon. Do you guys know all the ingredients in there? 
Eggs. Eggs. Oh, Evan made it, so let's hear it, Evan. They'll tell us. Go ahead, Evan. Eggs. From and, our chicken. Yeah, and some honey from Dad's beehives. <laughs> no beehives. <laughs> he didn't say his beehives, Dad. <laughs> Stealing my honey. <laughs> I say your yeah. honey. And some spices. I forgot their names. Cinnamon and nutmeg and salt. Blah, 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 and then blah, blah, vanilla. Blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And what were the dairies, the milks? Ah. Um, milk hey. and whipping cream. Yeah. That's it. That's all that's in it. Hope you enjoyed this video and glad you got, you got to see, see us again. again. Bye bye.